What's up, Eagle Eye Nation? I'm Andrew Burke. And I'm Manning Balkman, and welcome back to Eagle Eye News. We have some interesting things to discuss today, including the Willow Project and our soil conservation interview with Savannah Edwards. We will hear from BCMS baseball players on how the season is going and watch the finals competition of the Eagle Eye Olympics. Now let's talk about the Harbor Day and soil conservation with Ella and Savannah. Save the soil, plant a tree. I'm Bella, and that's our motto from Eagle Eye News TV for Arbor Day. Some of you may ask, what is Arbor Day? Arbor Day is a celebration of nature and, na and a national holiday that encourages people to plant trees and to maintain the trees that we do have. This year, Arbor Day is on April 28th. Interesting, interestingly enough, uh, the word Arbor itself comes from a Latin word that, which means tree. Um, let's head over to Ella, who has a special interview for us. Hello, I'm Ella Wheeler, and joining me today is Savannah Edwards, the first place winner of our Boyle County Soil Conservation Essay. We would like to talk a little bit more about the importance of our planet. Um, what is soil conservation? Soil conservation is where you can plant trees and plants to stop the soil from degrading. Uh, how did you get interested in this topic, and what made you want to write an essay? Um, the essay started off as an assignment, so I had to do it. But she said it was really good, and she just put it in the competition, and it won. <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit more about the award you won. Um, I won like a plaque thing, um, and I won $175. Wow. Thank uh, you, Ellen and Savannah. Now let's talk with Allie and Miss Rutch about the Willow Project. Hi, I'm Allie McGuffey, and I'm here to talk about the Willow Project. On March 13, 2023, the Biden administration approved the controversial Willow Project in Alaska. The Willow Project is a massive oil drilling venture in Alaska. The area where the project is planned holds up to 600 million barrels of oil. There are pros and cons to this project. The cons are that it will make global warming impossible in 30 years if this project continues. Not only would there be an atmospheric environmental issue, but there is going to cause problems for local wildlife. This is threatening the caribou population, which is already engaged in, in vulnerable, in endangered and vulnerable species, as well as the polar bears that inhabit the area. This is due to the rising temperatures that decrease the cold, icy environment in which these animals thrive. The pros to this project are that the five to six billion dollar project would provide benefits to locals and state economies through local hire for job created through the construction and operation tax revenues and federal revenue. Sharing from the royalties and lease rental bonuses and new resources to help meet demand, energy demand. Now let's go to Miss Rush and get her perspective on the issue. Okay, I'm here with Miss Rush and today we're going to be asking her a couple questions about the Willow Project. What do you think about the Willow Project? So obviously, anytime we're talking about removing fossil fuels from the earth, there's going to be controversy about that because um, you're looking at environmental issues, right? But the thing of it is, we are still very reliant on our heat sources and our transportation on oil. And so whether we like it or not, our government, our country still needs oil to be able to operate. And so um, I feel like that Biden made a good uh, compromise here because originally the company that was wanting to do um, the drilling had wanted to build five platforms and they had it reduced down to three. So that will re reduce some of the environmental impact but still be able to get to the majority of the oil. Um, so I feel like, yes, we do have a trade-off. There are gonna be some environmental impacts but I don't think any of us are willing to stop driving our cars or stop flying in planes or stop having our homes heated uh, with electricity, which is obviously all run on fossil fuels. So um, I feel like that the administration I've made a good compromise. How do you think it'll impact the environment? Well, you know, if there were to be some type of spill or some type of accident on the um, oil drilling, it definitely could impact the, the aquatic environment around that. And we've known from the um, Valdez oil spill that it takes years to, to, 
to clean that up. And so hopefully those companies that are drilling are taking the precautions they need to make sure that that's not going to be um, damaging our our oceans. But um, I do think that there is, a, like I said before, a trade-off, and I think they've made a good compromise. Do you agree with it? Yes. I mean, overall, until we find good, uh, reliable, renewable resources that we can use for energy, I feel like that we must, um, uh, as Americans, we are still using those resources, and since we have those oil reserves available to us, it would be better for us to use what we have on our own land rather than giving money to other countries and still shipping that in. So even if we don't um, take the oil from the Alaskan oil fields, then we're still going to be getting that oil brought in from another country. So uh, I think that this would allow for us to have more jobs for our citizens and to utilize the resources that we have in our country. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Miss Rush and Allie. And now let's head over to the baseball team with Kyle Reclance to see how their season's going. I'm here with some of the Bull County Middle School baseball team. My name's Kyle Reclance. I'm Andrew Messer. I'm Brandon Borders. Drew, how have the games been going? They've been doing pretty good. Our team has a record 2-0, and our B team has one win and one tie. Brandon, how's the practice? Uh, the practices, they've been going uh, really well. Uh, we hit, pitched, and fielded really good, and let's hope it contributes to the, tonight's game. Drew, what's your opinion on tonight's game? I think we should do pretty good against Marion County. Uh, I think that we can come out with a win, just like we had the last two games that we played, and just keep the win streak alive after this. Well, thank you all for coming today. You're welcome. Thanks, Kyler. Now let's talk with Chandler and Stella about how the Class Olympics are going. What's up, Eagle Eye Nation? Today we're playing the finals of our class Olympics. We're starting it off with basketball. You have to make three threes. Then you go tag your teammate. We're doing a chubby bunny. Then finish it off with trivia. First team done wins. First done with the three point. Yeah, each year. Never mind, he just demolished them. <laughs> no question. And then you go you go tag somebody. Eighth grade's first the trivia. Has it ever been on Mars? No. Eighth grade gets it right and they win. The other two are still struggling on the basketball. Eighth, the teachers yeah, finally yeah. make it through to Chubby Bunny. So does seventh grade. Colt, you just shot one. How many you gotta be able to do? I guess five. That sounds good. Mm. Yeah, I, oh, I think that's there. six. <laughs> Mr. Goldsmith finally makes it to trivia. Seventh grade gets their question right. Wasn't the animal starts to pee, penguin? Mr. Goldsmith gets his instantly. <laughs> Teachers get last, seventh grade second, and eighth grade wins. Teachers suck. Wow, cool, Xander. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the funniest thing. Don't cheat it. Straight cheat. Straight cheat. You can't be mad at school. Thanks, Chandler and Stella. Now let's see how Kuna did. Wait. Just, just go, just go. Wait, what do I say? Let's now let's see how Kuna did at their competition. Just say, see how Kuna did at their competition. All right. Now let's see how Kuna did at their competition. I'm Allie McGuffin, and I'm here with... Robert Couch, representing Iran. Noah Sims, the Vice President of the United Nations General Assembly. And Leah DaCosta, representing South Africa. And I'm going to be asking them a few questions today. How did you prefer, prepare to go to the conference? Over a couple of months, we went to after-school meetings to build the props we needed for the conference and prepare with our resolutions. What awards did you win? Um, South Africa won a couple of awards, one of them being the Outstanding Country Representation, and there were a few um, individual awards along the way. 
What does a chairperson do? So a chairperson facilitates debates and communicates with the wise staff to make sure everything's running smoothly while we're debating. Okay. Did your resolutions pass and what was it about? Our resolution did pass. It was about uh, preventing violations of human rights by governments by stripping them of their voting rights in the United Nations. Um, our resolution did pause as well as get an endorsement and ours was about getting educational resources to countries that did not, like, did not have them. Hi, right, thank you so much. Thank you. No, 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 you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Do they tag you? Keep them, don't put them back. Keep your stash. Keep your stash. Come on, you're a 67 Keep point guard. Keep your stash, man. Shot. Don't be. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Tell me. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, they oh, got each. On. Oh, come on, Goldsmith. Oh, my God. Oh, you telling me you can shoot a better shot? You're going to lose. Come on, I'm hungry, Colt. Of course, I'm hungry. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Eagle Eye News.